Hi and welcome to the third part of this tutorial. Last video we made a window appear on the screen, like this. So just a basic window with nothing really in it. And on this video we shall make a class where we shall put all of our future game logic. So if you're on Xcode to make a new class, just press Command N. And this window will pop up. Make sure to select the C++ class template. If you're using uh, something else, yeah, do what you think you must do. Um, choose game window for the name of the file. And I'll actually use the system editor so I can do two files at once. Um, so in your header file, the first thing you do, you include you include your gl slash gl w dot h then the class we shall name it game window and it shall have one private variable namely it the boolean running then the public stuff it shall have a construct. Uh, uh, it shall have a getter and a, set and a setter for running. So void set running boo no running. And it shall also have a getter. So boo get running. And don't forget the constructor of the class. So we just type a game window. And actually, let's no, yeah, with the argument run. Okay. Um, now for implementation, I'll actually just copy this. And I can just take this, copy this, paste this, and copy this again. And then put the curly braces. That way it's faster. And I like under beneath the show name. Um, so in our setter and getter, so in the setter, you just uh, actually put the underscore before it. Um, running, running equals equals new running, and return. Oh, shit! Return underscore running. Okay. Um, in our game window, we will set running to running. Okay. Um, so this class will have two main methods, the render method and the update method. So let's name them. So the first one will be the render method. So void render with no arguments. And the second one will be void update. Um, oh, yeah. Without the parentheses. Okay, so void render with nothing in it and the void update with no arguments. Um, in the game window, in the game window render method, we, we shall actually just take what's the, uh, the clear color function and the shield swap buffers function we, we shall we shall get them here and paste them in the game window so just paste this in here and for now we will leave the render method blank so return to your main cpp file and first uh, include the game window class, so include game window.h 
and the crack globally game window pointer to um, just uh, name it game window and make it a pointer and make sure to do this uh, this beneath the GLF open window so here is fine game window sorry game window equals new game window with throw so we've set we've set the running to throw then delete this running variable and inside the condition of the while loop game window get running to get our running variable then inside the while loop game window render and also the game window update which is blank for now so sorry update then um, delete this and type game window set no sorry set running oh yeah forgot to make it that way set damn it set running and here we go and don't forget to delete the game window when you're done so delete game window okay so now if you run it it should work the same as it did before and it does just work the same so next video I shall explain how what this stuff actually means so the GL clear and the GLF spot buffers and we shall also draw a cube on the screen yeah cube it's very exciting stuff okay so thank you for watching and bye